Hey guys, this is Luna the Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So this one is your timeless energy update video. What is it that your person is currently feeling and thinking about you right now? So let's start with your video and let's see what is going to happen. What are their current thoughts and feelings for today? So we'll start with the Oracle cards here. Current thoughts and feelings, please. What are the current thoughts and feelings? What are the current thoughts and feelings? <clears throat> so be careful and be mindful of the fact that this is a collective spread. It may, may not resonate with each and every one of you. And if it doesn't resonate, do not lose heart. Come back and check later in some other video. Okay. Also, your uh, Zodiac Wise videos are also up. You can check it on my channel. Starting from what is going to happen uh, from December 11 till December 21st. Okay. In your love life, what is it that you should expect? So, let's start. Current thoughts and feelings. What are the current thoughts and feelings, please? Okay. So, we have two. We're going to take two. Enlightenment and we have trickery. Uh, somewhere down the line, I feel that uh, there is certain amount of breakthrough that your person has received. Okay, some amount of breakthrough that your person has received when it comes to you and this particular connection. Okay, some amount of breakthrough, some amount of clarity, something that your person has received uh, in a certain situation with you or in this particular connection. Uh, there was uh, some deceptions, there were some deceptions and there were some lies uh, in this particular connection or probably there is a situation wherein I feel that there was somebody in this connection who wasn't very true. Probably they found out something about you. It can be a misunderstanding. It can be a simple misunderstanding as well that your person may have found out something about you or probably there was something that got revealed. Probably you got to know something about somebody. But it can be also a third party situation who may have created some sort of misunderstanding between you and your person as well. Or probably your person was somebody who uh, got cheated by somebody or something really happened. But I see enlightenment and trickery. A breakthrough is seen on the cards, uh, some kind of clarity that they have received. I am sensing that there was a third party involvement, not in terms of third parties in uh, affair or something, but I feel there can be a third person or a common friend or um, uh, probably uh, somebody who created some sort of misunderstanding. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have expansion. So uh, what I feel that, you know, there is some amount of abundance that is coming in in this particular connection why i said that because if you see there's a pregnant lady she's holding the entire world in her womb okay there's a globe in her womb and there's this fire there's uh you know the angel are there angels are there and so many things uh so many nice things some positive stuff which is happening so somewhere down the line i feel that your person has received some sort of clarity uh Trickery can also mean that probably there was a situation in their work life, okay, that wasn't going pretty well and now they have received some clarity in that area as well. Okay, so take how it may resonate because it is not possible to each and every one of you would have been going through some amount of enlightenment. Your person is going through some kind of enlightenment. So this is basically their energy card for the day. Okay, somewhere down the line, I feel that uh, it is mostly related to their work life, their general life that they uh, got to know, they have received a breakthrough and they got to know that there were people in their job, in their business who were kind of tricking them, who were not as true as they ever thought that they are, you know, they were not genuine as they thought they are. 
all right so let's see what the tarot has to say what are the current thoughts and feelings what are the current thoughts and feelings please current thoughts and feelings please what are the current thoughts and feelings please what are the current thoughts and feelings please Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. The Empress. Hmm. So with two of pentacles i somewhere down the line i feel that uh you know your person is juggling with finances so as i said that they have received some kind of breakthrough that somebody was actually uh, tricking them i feel it is more related to finances your person is actually struggling in their finances their job their business whatsoever they are doing but they definitely there's a struggle that i see when it comes to their business their work their career related issues okay they, there is some amount of struggle that i see your person is uh, or is maybe going through okay otherwise if it is related to you they are just juggling with finances they want to have a new beginning okay and i think their finances play a very vital role in this particular connection because that is what they are struggling with and their entire focus is on their finances okay probably that is why they even uh, are not too much focused on this particular connection and they are more focused on their finances once they fix their finances that is when they are thinking to come forward with a passionate beginning with you and i see that that can be anytime within next one month okay with king of wands this person is very much attracted towards you and uh, possibility is this person could have been quite on and off in the past as well in this particular connection and the reason has been their own personal situation wherein they were struggling with their finances and they are still struggling with their finances undoubtedly this person is very much attracted towards you with page of pentacles they are at multiple situation and times when they are uh you know within within their heart they are like you know let me send you a message let me send them a message and let me see what they are up to but then they kind of stop themselves because nine of swords is telling me that this person is definitely an overthinker can be somebody who actually struggles with um, going off to sleep easily can be somebody who may be uh in depression as well i don't know why i'm hearing that but yes i am okay with nine of swords it tells me that this person is actually very very upset and in under a lot of stress when it comes to finances and their life situation as well they are also worried okay so over here we have nine swords out of these nine swords one sword is yours okay they're also worried because they really like you they're very passionate about you very attracted towards you and because their life situation is such that they are not able to move forward they're also worried whether you know are you going to stick around or you're going to leave because for them you are their empress okay you are their empress and by empress what i want to say is they really like you they find you very beautiful courageous confident somebody who knows how to nurture take care of things and their feelings on daily basis are only growing it is not uh, going away their feelings are only growing for you they find you very attractive somebody who is very nurturing very caring somebody who knows how to lead from the front along with that they have not expressed their own feelings uh, to you and they are keeping it closed off you know they are keeping closed lipped tight mouth okay so they are not discussing that they haven't discussed it with anybody in fact they see you as somebody who can uh, rule uh, you know who can rule uh, by their side but the high priestess card i also see that you know that's a secret that they have been carrying what they are feeling they are keeping it within themselves probably it is also a possibility that even they are consulting psychic readers just like you watching videos online uh, apart from that i see that probably they can be um, that you are a tarot reader yourself watching tarot or they are aware of it something or the other when it comes to occult 
either they are into or you are into with five of swords this person have trust issues okay and the trust issues is whether they will be able to keep up or not with nine of wands it's them who may have blocked you or you may have blocked them they have their walls up high they are very guarded and wounded because of their past experiences that can also mean because just uh, after five of swords and nine of wands we have four of wands probably this person was married once because of which they've lost their trust and they have their guards up high so that they don't get hurt again so they are also thinking about stability with you about getting married to you but they are somebody who doesn't want to let their guards down for now they have trust issues they still have guards up high they still feel that wounded they are still guarded right now i somehow feel that most of you are also blocked by this person you know they may have blocked you as well in case not then i see that their heart chakra is blocked okay but this situation definitely involves marriage you are looking for a long-term commitment and they uh, may have been betrayed in their marriage or some by somebody who they were committed to can also be a possibility if not then i definitely see marriage on their mind or probably you have asked for a commitment or stability with ace of swords i see there is a breakthrough coming in in next one month and this person is going to receive some amount of clarity they are going to come out of their hermit mode which means that their solitude state of mind they may not be talking you guys may not be talking right now but they are soon going to come out of that zone that a particular uh energy and i see that you know meanwhile they are just waiting with three of wands it tells me that there is a lot of waiting and patience which is involved in this particular connection dealing with an hierophant can be a taurus can be a virgo can be a sign gemini libra aquarius so this person definitely is somebody who's who's and who's quite an old school somebody people look up to somebody people look up to for advices for guidance people look up to them and with four of pentacles i also see that their heart is kind of guarded again i see that blocked energy either they have blocked you you have blocked them but feelings are quite guarded right now quite stingy with money as well but again i see something related to marriage so marriage situation is definitely involved here let's see what are, what is the outcome of this connection Wow, Knight of Pentacles. So the in the outcome, we have received Knight of Pentacles. That means that your person is pretty slow. They are taking hell a lot of time to come forward towards you. But the good thing is, whenever they are going to come forward towards you, they are going to come forward with a uh, commitment, with stability, with uh, you know, with a solid offer. That's what I feel because Knight of Pentacles are usually very slow. But they are very stable okay and we have magician they are manifesting a good okay and they are manifesting that whenever they come forward towards you with their offer they are manifesting that you will accept them because they realize that they are in love with you they like you and they have some solid bond with you some spiritual connection with you maybe dealing with in gemini uh, can be taurus Virgo, capricorn as well aries leo sagittarius is also seen on the cards okay so i see that this person is going to come forward but they are going to take time because this is a pentacle energy knight of pentacles are gradually very slow it may even take up to an year okay but they are expecting that you know once they come forward towards you you will accept their love offer because they are in love with you they want to balance out the situation okay they want to uh, give and take properly uh, in an equal way with eight of swords i see that right now they are feeling stuck okay because they have other obligations they may have a lot many things on their platter to handle and that is why they have caused this particular tower moment that is a breakup and the tower are never permanent tower is a new contact separation situation but only for some time quite uh, can be a few days few weeks or few months only and whenever tower appears it is always 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 uh, a reconciliation uh, situation wherein whenever this tower moment is caused it is only temporary it is never permanent breakup okay then we have five of wands there are external challenges some external influences which are also involved in this particular connection probably some jealousy competition possessiveness or there are other people involved probably their family members or their friends but there is an external influence also 
right now uh, so we have empress and emperor definitely a divine counterpart right now they are acting out of ego they are very stubborn not listening to you but i somewhere down the line i feel that you know right now things are you know such we have received death card as well and i want to see what is the next card eight of wands right so i feel that uh right now you know they have stopped the communication with you it is definitely a no contact situation and meanwhile this is a no contact situation this person is transforming your relationship is transforming the thought of you how they perceive you is transforming within their mind they may have become egoistic post breakup not listening to you but i see that there is also travel involved on the cards probably they are traveling right now hence they didn't want you to get disturbed probably that is why they ended the situation but i also see a transformation coming in okay their their ego is dying okay they are transforming from this emperor mode so they did break up with you on temporary basis they became very stubborn now their stubbornness is dying with the death card transforming to a communication so they are thinking about communicating with you for few of you i feel it can be a long distance relationship in case not a long distance relationship that i definitely see that a fast paced communication is definitely coming or this person is if they have been traveling they are coming back to you or the place that uh, you guys are in okay uh, they are coming back and that is when i see that communication will again uh, start happening uh, the sun card in 3 of cups tells me that this person feels very happy in your company and they are thinking about reconciling with you connecting with you having drinks with you having uh, you know uh, uh, parting with you and that particular thought itself is making them very happy bottom of the deck we have queen of pentacles five of pentacles and nine of cups so this situation tells me that you know this person was really busy and still is very busy when it comes to their work can be somebody who has some sort of addiction otherwise i feel that they feel uh, emotionally very blessed and satisfied whenever they think about you they are at a very good place five of pentacles tells me they feel very lonely abandoned and alone and they know that they have abandoned this particular connection as well but they see you as their queen of pentacles which again tells me that they see you as somebody who is worth giving a, a commitment okay who is worth giving a commitment who is worth getting married to who is worth a lot many things in their life okay so uh, definitely i see that they see you as their stable person they uh, they see you as somebody they can get married to okay and let's see what is what are the messages let's see what are the messages let's see what are the messages please messages please okay so we have i don't think i can love anyone else anymore you were the best thing to happen to me i'm figuring out what i want we will have to fight for this love and i'm running away from myself not from you see quite many things that i've or we have already drawn in the tarot cards i'm not ready to commit to you right now okay i'm not ready to commit so i think this person has taken some time off from this connection let them uh you know get that breakthrough and let them get that clarity i see you in most in almost every unknown face i see i wish i could give you what you need from me then we have i miss us i miss the way we used to talk so i feel that you know this person is definitely looking out for clarity there are some uh you know career situation they are some other situation as well that is influencing this particular connection right so that's about it guys thank you so much for tuning in see you in the next video bye bye